Hey everyone, welcome to the Decorative Den, a look inside my craft room where I share all things crafting, planning, and DIY. My name is Charity and I am so excited to have you here with me. Today I'm going to be doing a flip through of my winter setup in my mini happy planner. I absolutely love how the setup turned out and I am super excited to share it with you. Setup videos are definitely my favorites. <laughs> And for this one, I decided to skip the Christmas and holiday specific decor and instead I kept this strictly winter and I'm so excited about that because I'll be able to keep and use this setup for the next few months and so I think it's going to work really well for me. One thing to note before we jump in is I do call this my mini happy planner. However, nothing in this planner is actually happy planner brand anymore. Um, it is truly a seven disc Franken planner. And so if you are interested in seeing a flip through of a happy planner, just know that this is not that. This is instead me just sharing with you how I decorated my planner and kind of made it cute for the season of winter. So if you are interested in seeing what all I have going on in this planner, then just keep watching. Okay, so starting with the outside of my planner, this planner cover is from the shop Paperbound Creations on Etsy. This is the same planner cover I was using in the fall and I just love it so much. It is a faux leather and it's just this beautiful like camel or cognac color. And then it does have a scalloped spine that has this gorgeous brown, like brown and silver hollow glitter. It shifts to these beautiful golds and greens in the light. So I really love this cover and I'm very excited that I was able to keep it for this season as well. And then the other thing you can kind of see from the outside here is my planner charm. And so this charm is from the shop Two Weeks on Mars and it is just this adorable rose gold charm that has um, pine cones and little gems on it and it is perfect for this setup because I decided to stick with a rose gold theme. So let's jump in here. All right, so this is what it looks like when I open the planner and we will start over here on the pocket side. And so this planner cover is really nice. It has this secretarial pocket in the back and then it has smaller pockets here and then this car front card pocket as well. Um, and so we will start in the front and I guess work our way back. So in this front little card pocket, I have a couple of different items. So I have this really cute little coffee cup planner clip and this is from a few years ago it is from the shop paper and thread formerly known as sweet avis paper and this is one of my favorite planner clips to add to my winter setups i think it is just so adorable and all i do is i attach that to a little piece of scrap paper so that way it sits up nice within the pocket and then the other thing in this pocket is this really cute, take it off of here, this really cute little die cut. This is from the shop Stinkin' Happy, which sadly, I believe this shop is closed currently. Um, and I'm not sure if they plan to reopen anytime soon, but I love their little blushy character. And this one is winter themed with the cute little snowflake. And just like the planner clip for this one with just a piece of washi tape, I've attached it to some spare card stock again. So when it's in the pocket, it sits up nice. And then the other thing I have up there is just this piece of card stock. This paper is from Cartabella paper and it is part of the winter market collection. That is one of the paper collections I used a lot in this planner setup and I got all of these papers as well as some of the other ones you'll see from scrapbook.com but I love that with just the snow and the little wintry trees so I stick that in the back here to add some color and then like I said layer my little die cut and my clip on top of that. 
There we go. And then behind that, I have just a couple sheets of stickers from Five Minutes of Happiness. The first one is kind of like this indoor cozy sheet with their little Memoji character reading, drinking some hot cocoa and things like that. And then behind that, I have like an outdoor winter theme. So this sticker sheet has, oh, it's called Winter Sports. Um, and I love this one with the ice skating and skiing and things like that. And so I just have both of those up front in this pocket. And then behind that, just to add a little more of the colors and theme of my setup, I slipped another piece of cardstock, again from that Winter Market collection. And this one is just a really nice deep navy with snowflakes on top of it. And I slip that back in the secretarial pocket. And actually, the other day while I was putting this in here, I was thinking about the fact that I think this pocket is actually for you to slide your planner cover in so that way your planner sits evenly in the middle of this cover. I mean, obviously that's not the way I do it, <laughs> but that is a nice option. If you are thinking about a cover like this, you can put both sides of your planner into the cover, which is pretty cool. But anyway, moving on to my actual planner, I have some rose gold aluminum discs from Levenger. These are one inch discs. And this frosted scalloped cover is from Makers Avenue on Etsy. So I love this. She offers both the scalloped edge and a straight edge if you are interested in that. But behind this cover, I have the first dashboard of this setup and I love this so much. This like winter floral pattern is the pattern I saw online and immediately was like, that is the theme of this planner. I want it to be greenery and beautiful blues and just a celebration of winter. So I have that paper and then layered on top of it, I have another piece of paper with that same floral pattern and it says, hello winter. And both of these were from scrapbook.com. And then the back of that paper, because it is a two-sided paper, just had this pretty blue snowflake pattern. So I just left that because I loved how just simple and elegant it looked. Moving to the opposite side, I have a few things layered here. First, I have this piece of acetate from Harriet Wright Designs that has these beautiful rose gold bows on it. And then that is layered on top of a piece of vellum that I just got from Michaels a few years ago now that has this pretty watercolor like marble pattern. And I love this in winter setups because I like to think of it as like frosted glass or something like that. And so I think it looks so pretty layered over my mood board as well as, you know, layered with this acetate. I just love that combo so much. And then behind that, I have the mood board for this planner. I like to put one in almost every setup I do just because I love how it sets like the tone of the setup and like the theme that I'm going for. And so I will link to a video I have that shows how I make these specifically. But in general, I just find free stock images on sites like Pexels and Unsplash and then put them together to create these. And so for this one, again, I really wanted true winter images, not Christmas, not holidays. And so I have a lot of nice things like these pine cones and snowy trees, um, you know, lumber, or I guess not lumber, logs, <laughs> and then um, some nice warm beverages, cozy sweaters, and then I loved this little snowy scene that kind of has some pink undertones. I thought that really matched the rose gold and brought that out in this setup. On the back of that, I have my washi dashboard. This is another must for me in planner setups. And for this one, I have a few different washi tapes. Um, so this little pine cone, or not pine cone, oh my gosh, pine tree washi tape and this sweater patterned washi tape, both with the rose gold bows. Those are from the Pink Room Co. And then both this 
like greenish blue snowflake washi and this rose gold foil tape. These are both just from packs I got from Michaels. And then finally, I have a little more of that floral winter pattern. So this is just the paper that I got off scrapbook.com and I cut it down into thin strips so I could incorporate it in this dashboard and kind of bring some more of those colors into this washi dashboard. And that brings me to the first section of my planner, which is always my year at a glance section. And I got rid of my 2020 year at a glance. I'm all about 2021 now. <laughs> and so this is an insert that I made for myself. I have these as freebies up on my Instagram in the bio. I will link my Instagram below in case you are interested in downloading these. But that's all I have in this section for now. I will eventually add a sheet about my goals for 2021, but I am still in the process of writing those. <laughs> So this brings me to the next dashboard and I love this one so much. So this has just a piece of acetate and on top of it I put this rose gold vinyl and this little warm and cozy font was actually just a free download on the Cricut software and I layered that on top of another stock image of just this beautiful blanket and some hot cocoa and I loved how just light and delicate this looked, but also still really warm and cozy. And so I thought it paired perfect with, you know, this font, warm and cozy. Um, and I did kind of mess up this vinyl. <sighs> you will see, there are two themes to this planner setup. One is winter, obviously, and the other is just how bad I am at putting down vinyl decals. So you'll see every single one is slightly messed up, but um, I still think that is super cute. So moving on, the back of that dashboard, I have this little image, this is from a six by six paper pad I got at Michael's, I believe it's Recollections brand. And I just centered that on some navy paper so that way it would fit the full length of my planner. And this is, I would say, the one dashboard that does kind of hint at Christmas a little bit because, you know, all is calm and bright is a lyric from Silent Night. But I still love this. I love the imagery. It just reminds me of a cold, quiet winter's evening. And this rose gold um, little accent is just that same foil tape that I used in my washi dashboard, just cut in half to kind of frame the little houses and the image. So that brings us to my habit tracker section, which this is what this section looks like. It just is these daily habits. I am getting rid of this section, I think, for 2021, just because I had such good intentions and I do love the idea of it, but it is definitely something that I don't keep up with. So I think I'm gonna switch this out for like an inbox or to-do section. I think that'll be way more functional for me. But anyway, in this section, I have my first tab. And for this planner, I made these snowflake tabs, again, using that rose gold vinyl. And again, I just cut these out on my Cricut and this little snowflake image was another free image in the Cricut software. And I love how these turned out. These might be my favorite tabs I've ever made, just cause I think the snowflakes look so beautiful and delicate sitting at the top of my planner. And then after my habits, I have this dashboard, which again is another layered dashboard. So on the top, I have another piece of acetate with some vinyl decals. These are these same, oh no, these aren't the same snowflakes. These are different snowflakes, but also just from the Cricut software. And I have those kind of laid and falling down over this dashboard. And this vinyl serves a couple of purposes. One, it's cute, but also this paper back here came from another six by six paper pad. This one came from Honeybee Stamps Log Cabin Collection, which I did get off scrapbook.com. And so I had to kind of add this extra little inch up here to make it fit my planner. And so I layered this over mainly to cover up the seam between the two pieces of paper and kind of give it more of a finished look. Um, ugh, ignore my vinyl bubbles. <laughs> there are so many of them. Um, but behind that, again, I have this pretty snowflake paper. And on top of that, I layered an image from Buddha Doodles. Buddha Doodles is this um, art 
I guess, Instagram and website by the artist Molecules. And I love that she is really focused on talking about doodling and being creative as a healing and meditative practice. And so I like to include her art whenever I can in my setups. And I thought this one was just so perfect for a winter setup with the little characters all dressed up in winter clothes. And then the quote is absolutely beautiful. Kindness is like snow. It beautifies everything it covers. So I think that is another really cute little combo. On the back of that, I have more of that floral paper with the white background. I just love this pattern so much. So I wanted a whole page just dedicated to it. And then to make it a little more interesting, I guess, I did add a strip of brown glitter paper. I think I got this at Joanne Fabrics, either that or Michael's, a craft store. But that's what that looks like. And that brings me to my monthly section, which I do plan on keeping my monthly dashboard layout. It is one that I really love and has been very functional for me. And I just have another tab marking that. And then my next set of dashboards is a window dashboard and snowy scene. So I made a window dashboard in my fall setup this year and I love how it turned out. So I knew I wanted to do another one for winter and this one is so cute. It, it is exactly what I pictured in my head. I wanted a little log cabin looking out at a snowy scene. And so I got this log cabin paper from scrapbook.com I'm not sure what the brand is. And then my window, I just used some like off-white cardstock and it does have a little piece of acetate in there to look like glass. And then behind that, I have this piece of vellum that has this little polka dot pattern that I think kind of looks like falling snow. And so I layered that on top of another stock image off of um, Unsplash. And this is just this beautiful snowy forest scene. And that is like exactly what I picture you would be looking at if you are out in the woods in a log cabin. And so I think those two pair really nicely together. And then I also really love how this vellum looks on top of the log cabin because it does look like snow falling in front of a house, which I really love. So that is that combination of three things. Then behind that, I have this little quote card from that Winter Market collection, and I just centered that on this green paper that has a very subtle cable knit pattern to it. And so um, both that and then this little tan floral paper on the edge, both of those are from Honey Bee Stamps Log Cabin collection, which is that six by six paper pad. So then my weekly section, I am still using these inserts. These are from Alibi Design Studio, and I really love these. They work with Hobonichi kits, and they have just been very functional for me for a while now. Um, but with all that being said, I do think I'm going to try a different weekly insert, at least for the start of 2021, just because I am getting a little tired of the Hobonichi layout. And so I might just try to mix it up for a little bit. And then if I don't like it, I'll go back to these inserts. But definitely if you are looking for something that works with Hobonichi kits or you just really like this style of planning and insert, I definitely recommend these from Alibi Design Studio on Etsy. And then behind that, I have this dashboard, which is more of that pretty navy paper with the snowflakes like I have in the front pocket over here. And centered on that, I have another quote card that has this cute little cabin and says, let's stay in. And then that is centered on just a piece of rose gold paper that I got from a craft store. And then on the back side here, I wanted another little pocket just to add some more little things that I thought were cute and I knew I wanted in here, but I couldn't fit up front. And so take all this out. But um, this is just a piece of packaging that like a sticker order came in that I turned into a pocket and I attached to more of that pretty tree pattern paper. And in my pocket, I have a few different things. So first I have in the back two more sticker sheets. Um, 
This one is a Christmas sticker sheet just because I'm using Christmas stickers still. So I thought I would just throw this in here. Plus it fits pretty nicely in here. Um, and that is from Stinkin' Happy. And then I have another five minutes of happiness. I really clearly love this shop's winter themed stickers, but this one is so cute. This is called Winter Snow Fun. So that is back here as well. And then on top of those, I just layered a couple little deco pieces. So first I have this little piece of paper, Hot Cocoa, 25 cents with these adorable mugs. And this was another little cutout from that winter market collection. So just layer that in here. And then I also have this little die cut. This is from Every Minute a Story, the little beanie character. It's just like a little winter planner with the cute snowman mug, working on some plans in their hoodie. That is totally the vibe I wanna have all winter long. <laughs> So yeah, I just put those in that pocket. And then the last section of my planner is just my notes section where I keep um, some craft paper. So definitely will keep this, it comes in handy. And again, I have another little snowflake tab to mark that. But yeah, that is it. Behind that, I just really have my planner charm. Here, I'll give you a better look at this because I'm not sure how well you could see it in the beginning again from two weeks on Mars. And then I skipped doing a back dashboard just cause it felt kind of unnecessary with this planner cover. So yeah, that is pretty much it. I really hope that you enjoyed this planner flip through. I know that I really enjoyed getting to share this setup with you. I always say setting up my planner is my favorite part of planning even more than actually planning out my weeks. <laughs> so um, if you did like this, please hit the like button for me so I know and I will make other videos like this in the future. And consider subscribing if you are interested in other crafting, planning, and DIY videos. And definitely because this will be my last video of 2020, I just want to wish everyone a healthy and happy holiday season. And I just wanna thank you so much for being here with me this year. It has been a lot of fun just sharing what's going on in my craft room with you and getting to interact with you. So definitely I have a lot of fun stuff planned for 2021 and hope you'll stick around for that too. But thank you so much for your support. Take care and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.